Yo, what's up, Mirth Films? Welcome to my crib. So, this is where I spend my every day. We got a bunch of artwork all throughout the house. The whole house was a, was a church custom built into a house. They had to pull all the floors out because they were angled like an amphitheater and, and do their best to make them flat. This is where we store all of our bikes and longboards, snowboards. Um, play foosball up in here. Got the PBR board. One of like 600, I think. It's a PBR GNU collab. Won it in a raffle from a PBR girl. <laughs> so would you say it's worth more than a uh, 30 rack of PBR? <laughs> it's worth a definite more than a 30 rack of PBR. I don't really drink PBR because I like beer, so. Um, <laughs> this is probably my favorite mural in the house. It's uh, kind of like a canal way in Venice with uh, the peacock in the front and just all the texture to it, how all the, the marble and the pillars look so real and just right there. Um, was that something that was here when you uh, moved in? Yeah, the, the owner of the house that, that created and, and made it what it is today, he did just about all the artwork in the house that you're going to see. Uh, so almost all the furniture, all the paintings, some might be uh, his wife, Danielle, who's also a very talented artist. This is all painted also, and <clears throat> this cat actually will sit in front of the glass door out front and meow, and he, he won't come in. He doesn't want to come in the house. His name's Beardsley. I've, I've almost caught him before. Slippery little one. Pendants. Got that nice Joe Biss piece right there. This was a custom that was made for me by David Wells. Very talented kid that was uh, buying some stones from me. I ended up just giving them to him for the piece. And then this is uh, the yoga studio. So this was a fully functioning yoga studio for 20 years and we kind of turned it into an art space. So I actually, I'll take old designer bags and I'll cut them up, make other things out of them. You know, phone cases, wallets, other shit like that, that no one can really afford. <laughs> um, yeah, we just got the heat printer set up going on over here. Finally got it all set up. It, it's been hours of straight hell trying to get this running. A couple Christmas presents, we won't show those. Though. <laughs> this beautiful mural as well. It's got all the little people in here with the, the water jugs on their head and the elephants spraying themselves. Just a kind of utopian society. Time to show you the whips. We got the 2018 Go Tracks. This thing will do 65 miles an hour. It's about 1500 horsepower to the rear wheel only. Um, 2019 Camry Stone Stash Edition. It's a little anxiety driven parking in this parking spot. I got to jam it right into the, in between the house and the fence there. You get about two inches of clearance on one side and, and a foot on the other. You can't even open the door. Then we got the uh, the Zoomies Ripper, ten bucks on Craigslist. You know, gotta gotta ride fresh. You know. So you guys have gotten to see my house, my studio, my kind of chill space. But let's go over to the actual workshop and uh, gem gallery. So time to check out the gallery and the uh, the workspace. This is it. Who painted this for you? Uh, I did it just kind of quickly, honestly. Is there anything you don't know how to do? <laughs> fly. If I could fly, that would be dope. One of the things coming in 2020. Wow, what a shot, man. Yeah, so. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, this is my partner Ty. He's over here faceting a stone. Hello. Actually, I'm currently messing around with glue that doesn't like me. Uh, yeah. Very fun. 
Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff on display from all over the world in here. Um, I can kick some lights on too. All this is lights up. This is the daily routine every day coming in, flipping 50 switches. Full black light case. Bunch of jewelry sized stones all in here. These are all full. Some cool stuff on display in these. They all light up as well. <laughs> Upwards of two dozen different local artists work on display. And then over here is where I get the majority of my jewelry making done. A couple things in the works, collabs with people, um, a couple Christmas orders that I gotta finish as well, and then the whole gem lapidary section where we do gemstone faceting as well as cabochons. Uh, I tend to stick to opals, they're my favorite thing to cut. My birthstone, favorite stone. And this is where I get all that done. Cool. So try to display a bunch of artists' work as much as possible. This is a little one that I did. And I think um, some of these drawings are really what influenced my jewelry design. Uh, some of the shapes of the buildings and the drawings I do uh, resemble the pendants and the rings that I make a lot. So you guys have seen my house, you saw my cars, you saw my gallery workshop space, and uh, it's Monday. I'm supposed to have the day off, so y'all need to get the fuck out of here. Peace!